Hey everyone, Asma this side. In this video, I'll be explaining you how to build a burglar alarm using Arduino and PIR sensor. So from the topic is self-explanatory. It is an alarm which goes off when there is some kind of motion detected by the PIR sensor. We can also enhance this project by using a GSM module to send some SMS alerts to a specified mobile number when an intruder is detected or the motion is detected inside the range of the PIR sensor. So the motive of this project is to detect a motion, an intruder or a burglar using PIR sensor upon which the, bu the buzzer alarm goes off until the reset switch is pressed. Let us take a look on all of the items that we will be using here. The number one is the Arduino Uno, the PIR sensor, a transistor, 2N2222, some resistance, button, connecting wires, buzzer and Arduino IDE. I shall brief the components used in this project. Number one, the PIR sensor. Basically, it is a motion sensor or a motion detector which identifies an object that moves inside its range of view. PIR sensor identifies infrared radiations emitted by an object inside its radar range. So basically, it is the heart of the simple burglar alarm circuit. Number two is the buzzer. It is used to create a sound alarm whenever movement is identified inside the range of PIR sensor. A transistor 2N2222 is used to drive the buzzer. The maximum current that can be synced from an Arduino pin is 2 mA, but the buzzer will need more than just 20 mA for its proper functioning. Therefore, we use switching transistor 2N2222 for this purpose. It acts as a switch and at the same time it provides the required current amplification. A 2N2222 transistor with a gain of 100 can give up to a 1 ampere current as its output. Another purpose for, this, uh, for using a transistor in between Arduino pin and buzzer is isolation. A short circuit of the buzzer will destroy only the collector emitter junction of transistor. Since there is isolation at the base region of transistor, the destruction of collector emitter junction will not affect base and hence the Arduino will be saved from burning. The next one is a switch. It is a push switch which is used to reset the burglar alarm once it is activated. The capacitor is used for bypassing bouncing effect of a switch. So what is this bouncing effect? For instance, consider the fact that when we drop a ball from a height, it takes a while for the ball to settle down on the floor completely. It is similar to that. When a switch is toggled, contacts have to physically move from one position to another. As the component of the switch settles into their new position, the, they mechanically bounce, causing the underlying circuit to be opened and closed several times. Let's now take a look at the circuit diagram. I have already made the connections, but don't worry. I have pasted the same circuit in the article below. So you can see the connections from there. I have also given some wiring instructions. So now let's move on to the coding part. For coding, we need Arduino IDE which can be easily downloaded. In the code, first we have defined the output of the PIR sensor is connected to pin number 7, the push button is connected to pin number 6 and the buzzer is connected to pin number 8 respectively to the pins of the Arduino. Then we have defined a variable of integer type sensor value for storing some values. Moving on to the void setup, we have configured some pin modes. Like we will be getting an input from the sensor. Likewise, push switch is also configured as an input and we will be getting an output from the buzzer in the form of some sound. Moving on to the void loop, we will be taking reading from the sensor and storing it into the, into the variable sensor value. Then we have an if loop and the argument passed is sensor value equals to high, which means checking if the PIR sensor sends a high signal to the Arduino. The PIR sensor sends high signal to the Arduino only when it detects some motion in its range. And when it does, the buzzer is set to high, which means the buzzer will get activated. Then again we have a nested if loop and the argument passed is digital read push switch equals to high which means checking if the push switch was pressed. If it was pressed then the buzzer is set to low which means the buzzer will turn off. 
let us now take a look on the working of the circuit so when the motion is detected inside the range of the PIR sensor the alarm goes off so you see when I pressed the reset button the alarm stops so basically that's all with the coding part we can also use Arduino Nano instead of Arduino Uno the connections and the coding will remain the same so that's all with this project if you have any doubt or suggestions Please comment down below. Thank you.